Good morning. Welcome to my studio. This mosaic titled Iskandria is one of six mosaics in my mini cityscape series. The intention originally was to make five uh, as gifts, one each for five fellow mosaic artists. But I was just really having fun and enjoying how they were uh, coming out that I wanted one for myself. So I, I made an extra. This is Iskandria. Each is named after their owner in some way. For example, uh, an artist named Floyd Height. Hers is titled Flowering Heights. Another one, last name Warner, Warner's Corner. Last name Hints. Hintsville, last name Della Ducata, Chita Della Ducata, and first name of Gila, City of Joy. That was really fun for me to, to personalize them in that way. So let's talk about these a little bit. They're very small. This one and City of Joy are three inches by three inches. The other four are about two and a half inches by three and a half inches, uh, a little bigger than a standard business card. They are executed on half inch weedy board. Uh, I finished the edges with thin set and with, uh, I painted them black. And it, it really, they, they, it, disappears I and mean, it's just a, it's a nice look in in this frame uh, they're primarily beads these are glass beads the black onyx beads hematite and glass bugle beads more hematite these are beautiful swarovski crystal cube faceted cube beads really really nice reflection i think now, they all are different. All six were a little different. Some had some um, different obsidian beads or jasper beads or, or uh, other materials. Just um, one has some malachite beads, I think. So I was just really having fun with beautiful, uh, beautiful beads. The sky is, uh, this is a glass bead. They all have a sun, although some are different, but they're all little glass suns. The sky was the most challenging part. These are Carrollton's, which are uh, little glass cubes uh, between one eighth and one quarter inch. And they're very, uh, they're just very small, kind of rounded edges and uh, slippery and difficult to cut. This is a whole bead here. This is my um, eighth inch handle of my pick, so. You can see they're very small. And I don't know that um, if they're even made anymore, they might not be. But nice little beads and they did a good job for this guy, but I'd say that was, the, that was the most challenging part. The frames I found on sale uh, from uh, Hobby Lobby, just regular photo frames. Um, some square and then I found a, a variety of rectangular ones. And I removed uh, the glass in them and instead um, put this piece of black matting material like a picture framer would use to cut, cut mats uh, in, in framing. And the small, very lightweight mosaic is then Velcroed onto it and it, it's, it works just fine. Um, and it's not permanently married to that piece of mat or to that particular frame. So I'm really glad I made one for myself. It makes me happy just to look at it, uh, to walk by it. Um, just a, a little thing I did for fun. Um, and I enjoyed them and I think uh, their, future, their owners enjoyed them too. Well, thanks for joining me this morning to talk about Little Iskandria.